Hi friends, welcome to the video lectures on technical thing. So what about this pattern? What about this pattern? How to print this one? So if you compare this one, first I'll go for this one. First I'll print this one. After that, I will print this one. How to print this one? That means if you clearly observe this one and this one, here every row, the values are going up to 5. Every row. But here every row, what is the last value you can say? It is changing. First value is same, but last value is constraining up to i. I can say that means first row, one value. Second row, two values. Third row, three values. Fourth row, four values. So like this, that means your j value is constraining up to i. So j is going is either less than or equal to but j is not beyond i like this you need to consider so what first i will write the pattern for this program for this one only i'll make one change so that you will get this one we'll see this one so this is the first program where we have printed uh, basic one one two three four five uh, if you want we'll see the output for this one so this is the pattern for this what we need to print 1 1 2 1 2 3 so only one change i need to do for this one your j should be constrained up to i so you can see here j equals 1 j is not up to 5 it is up to i only so this is the only one change you need to do so that you will get the exact output whatever we want if you want you can see the output of course here no need to change anything except this one So this is the output you can say 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Of course here I printed J. So what if, if I print I here? Instead of J if I print I, of course you can guess the output that is 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3 like this. You can see the output. Of course this is our next question. So this is our next output. So you can see this one is over, this one is over. And how to get this one? I need to print the star. How to get this one? Anyway, we have seen. So we need to take percent C and J plus 64. And how to get this one? For this program, simply J constrained up to I. So how to do? We'll see one by one. So next printing stars. So instead of printing I, I'll keep here star so you can see the output so whatever the require, required output we got that is stars in left diagonal so going to the next one how to print this one a a b a b c a b c d a b c d i told you like here in, in this a b c d whatever you printed you have to just keep j less than or equals to i so where we have got the logic like instead of printing j and i what we have printed there we printed j plus 64 and we have taken percent c instead of percent d so that we'll do right now here percent c comma we have to write j plus 64 that's it here you, you must remember this part that is j less than or equals to i must be there so you can see the output and remember here percent c should be there and of course k variable is not required yeah a a b a b c a b c d a b c d like this we can get the output now coming to this last one so how to do for this one so we can analyze like uh, whatever you have printed here for this uh, will you keep simply j greater than or equals to i here will you get the answer no so you can see the output here you 5 5 4 first unit needs to print 5 so what are the changes you have to do we'll see here simply so this is a program which we printed those series so you can see the output okay like this we are getting output so in this program just let me keep this instead of j greater than or equals 1 i'll keep j greater than or equals i shall we get the same output which we require that is 554 five, we'll see first okay see it is printed like this 54321 what actually we require 554543 five, five, so it printed in reverse 
so what happened here will if you consider the logic of this one here you can observe j starts from 5 it goes up to i what is i starts from 1 so that means first it will print 5 to 1 next iteration i will be 2 that means 5 to 2 like this is that right so that's why instead of that first iteration the j should start from 5 and it ends at 5 only and in the second 5 it should start at 5 and it has to end at 4 so for that purpose what i'll do here is instead of i equals to 1 to 5 i'll make it reverse so i equals to 5 i greater than or equals to 1 i minus minus so you need to be careful when you write the logics now we will check it out whether we will get the correct output or not now this is fine you can observe so like this we have to consider sometimes you have to change like this so like this we can get the patterns which are of left diagonal